know, both of us, Steve, oh you, and me. We look forward to it every single day. Gets me out of bed. Totally. And we know not all coffee is created equal. Just you ask can... our radio department. I don't know what they're brewing over there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're about to meet the woman behind an incredible cup of coffee here in the Twin Cities. And she knows exactly how these beans are grown. Why? Because her dad is the farmer in her home country of Costa Rica. I popped by her home kitchen in Woodbury to learn how to make a perfect cold brew coffee and get you a great deal so you can try it for yourself. It's a great day because I'm having coffee with my new friend Viviana. We are going to be friends for life, I'm pretty confident. Me too. <laughs> I love that we are making cold brew today because this is like my favorite summer thing is a cold right? brew. It's so refreshing. It's so refreshing and there's a couple things that you realize if you're into cold brew. Number one, if you're going to a coffee shop every day, it gets very expensive. Correct. And number two, even if you're buying it like in a concentrate, it's still really expensive and you're probably not getting as amazing a flavor as you could. That is also true. So yeah. we're making your version of cold brew today. You have a very special ratio. You think maybe some people are making their cold brew a little bit too weak. I think people can do exactly whatever they want. I like mine to be a little bit bolder. Okay. I'm going to do one that the ratio I'm going to use is six to one. Okay. I do dark roast and medium roast. Okay. The reason I do this is because I wear dark. It's going to be a bolder flavor. Mm -hmm. We don't burn the beans. It's specialty coffee. So it's going to have a good flavor. Can I smell? Of course. Oh, thank you. And then oh. this, would be the, this would be the medium roast. That it would be more on the sweet end. So the combination of them. They make really the complement each other. They make the best cold brew. Now, your coffee is something very special. And, you know, I love hearing about someone who has a connection directly to where something is created. And when it comes to coffee, that's kind of hard to find here in Minnesota because, in case you didn't notice, we're not growing coffee beans anywhere around here. That's but you know somebody who is. Your dad. My dad has been doing that for his entire life, I would say. I'm the fifth generation of the coffee farm. So uh, all my family has been doing this for quite a long time. During winter time here is harvest time in Costa Rica, so it's a great time for me to just like go out of the winter for a little while. But yeah, the connection is like I'm a coffee grower living in Minnesota. Isn't that really incredible? You're the only coffee grower I've ever met living in Minnesota, just FYI. Oh, fun. And it yes. is really incredible. So when you think about, you know, maybe your family farm compared to other coffee operations, I mean, what makes it different that you've got a small family farm and you know exactly where the beans are coming from? I think what makes it so different is that a lot of small roasters get their coffee beans from different parts of the world, which that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But with Willow's Coffee, you will get the coffee from farm to cup. So you can meet me anytime. You can text me, you can email me, and I can tell you all about the farm, all about what we do. Since we plant the coffee tree, yeah. all the way to have it in a bag. Does your dad think it's so crazy that like, okay, you're he selling is. his coffee <laughs> he here? And it's like, he's probably like, no, my daughter landed in, what, where is this place? Minnesota, it's very, I think it's very far north and very cold. <laughs> yes, he is, but at, at the same time, he's very supportive. Okay, now we've got the coffee. We know where it comes from. We're so excited about our half medium, half dark roast. What are we going to put in here and how much? So I have right now three quarters of a cup of the medium okay. coffee. Great. So that goes in. Then the dark. Yep. So I'm going to do three quarters of a cup as well. This is great. But you could obviously do all of just one kind. But I you love your tip correct. about the combo. I correct. think that's really you, wonderful. You could do whichever you prefer. Okay. And then I will use six cup of, cups of water great. that and I have here. In. So that goes in the water. It could be run, uh, room temperature. So nothing fancy. Or like you're not nothing. doing anything. It's super yeah. easy to make. Wow. I am overpaying for this. <laughs> well, the majority of people are. And not cool. necessarily with specialty coffee. Right. It's good to make a syrup. Okay. It's perfectly normal. Yep. Some people are like, you cannot touch it. You can. You can. This coffee needs to stay in the refrigerator or in room, room temperature for at least 12 hours. Okay, so this one... So this one has been in the refrigerator yes. for about 15 hours. Okay, so, so this is where you're going to do like the little strainy deal. Correct. So <laughs> that's a technical term. And now we're going to press down as any other French press. press. Yeah. Okay, now how are you going to serve this? So I am, I do my own creamers. Oh gosh, so of course she does. <laughs> Who is this person? Where has she been all my life? serve some over ice that is the way I like it. It's like when you're drinking like a really good strong scotch. You put it on a little ice and then it melts a little bit. Oh gosh, exactly. now we're even better friends. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a second date. <laughs> yeah, that's the second date. Yeah, coffee first. 
whiskey next time I come over. All right, you've got cute little ice cubes, too. Her ice cubes are shaped like coffee beans. Can you see them? I think this is so special. This is like the sweetest thing. I just love that this is going to be my very first coffee experience in Minnesota with someone whose family farm grew the beans. It's really amazing. Like, that's a very that's special thing. That's what we thing. call it from farm to coffee. I like that. <laughs> I like it. And this is your special creamer. What's going on with this? These, we make, it's condensed milk, evaporate milk, cinnamon, and we do a little vanilla. So, this is one of the most uh, popular ones that you can get at places to sell the coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so great. So, cheers. Cheers, my for, friends. For an amazing cold brew. Oh my gosh, are you looking at this? <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. I'm ready for it. Okay, it's magical. It is? It's so great. This has been such a treat to get to meet you and spend time with you and learn about your farm and get to drink great coffee with you. Thank you, I appreciate you guys coming. Well, I'll be back tomorrow and then um, <laughs> maybe whiskey over the weekend, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Willie Willow's Coffee, it's it's available online and several other locations around the metro, and we posted a link to more on TwinCitiesLive.com, plus we posted Viviana's cold brew and creamer recipes. Get this starting at 4.30 today. If you go to the .com deals page of our website, you can buy two bags of Willow's Coffee, one medium roast, one dark roast, which you can use to make that cold brew or hot coffee for just $24. That is half off the regular price. Shipping is included, and the coffee will be sent right to your home. Twin Cities Live, coming right back. 